Hey, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. For your new souls that just chiming in, welcome to my channel. What a pleasure it is to have you. Hopefully, you find this content desirable to your needs. Now, listen, y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. For those who celebrate Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. I hope everything is going well. I hope everything went well. All y'all folks out there that may have gotten engaged or other special um, and exciting things, um, congratulations. Okay, listen, I wanted to come to you today because I want to try something. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try it with my soul fam, all right? Listen, today I am going to be, um, I'm, well, I'm going to put an image on this uh, garment, which is a blanket, a throw blanket, okay? Um, I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I think I want to build on it. Um, and the first thing I want to do is just put an image on there. Um, and so it's 50 by 60. Uh, and you probably can't see, excuse my, my stuff y'all, okay? My little stuff around. But I'm trying to figure out, I had designed these, and I'm trying to figure out um, which one I wanna, I wanna put on there, okay? So I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, maybe go with um, just the one image, just to try it. Okay, so I am going to supplement it on here because this is, uh, I believe, 100% polyester or mostly polyester, I, I do believe. Um, I, I, I truly believe, and we're going to find out, but I'm um, pretty sure. Let's see how much. Yep, 100, if you could see, 100% polyester. Okay, so we're going to try this. So I want to try with you guys. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start printing this out. Um, and let's get started. I got my um, heat press warming up. And so just wait one second while I print this out. Okay, beautiful souls. Um, I went on and did um, a dimensions of 22 by 30. Um, I want to actually see what that looks like on um, this blanket. And um, my heat press, it's, uh, what, 24? It's like 16 by 24. And so I wanted to make it um, that I can still, uh, you know, place the image as far as the width uh, still on my heat press. Um, even though I already know I'm going to have to, you know, um, you know um, print move it up print move it up or whatever but at least the width will be the same so hopefully this goes well y'all and we're gonna see um and then um depending on you know what it looks like once um i put it on the blanket then i'll start playing around you know adding other stuff to it um if i want to i might not even add anything i just you know doing this as a test um like i said it's 24 um I mean, 20, what do I have? A 20 by 30. Yeah, 20 by 30. So. I think it's 22 by 30. Yes, that is. So beautiful, man. I hope it work out all right for us. I love this printer. What I'm printing off of is a sublimation printer, the SC um, F570. Um, you can really get some good coverage. Actually, you can do an all over print, um, especially with kids. Now, adults, you're probably gonna need a little something bigger unless it's like a small or something. Okay, y'all. All right, y'all see it, don't y'all? Here we go. Woo. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? Okay, well, we get ready to see. All right, so meet me over at the heat press. All right, beautiful souls. We are here uh, at the uh, heat press. 
And what I'm doing is trying to figure out where I want um, my image. Uh, so the way it was folded, and uh, maybe you can um, take this in as a note. The way it was folded, it was folded in so it has a crease here and it has uh, the same crease on the other side. So I said, if I can just follow the creases, that'll help me gauge, um, you know, where I want my image. Um, and then not only that, with my ruler, I am going to measure and make sure both sides measure the same because just because they folded it doesn't mean that you know what I'm saying and so one side seemed like it measured let me do this way one side it seemed like it measured like 14 and then the other side seemed like it measured 13. So, but we want to make sure I'm kind of eyeballing it, making sure my squares is straight. And let's do this again. Okay, that's probably around 12. So I may need to move it over some. Make sure it's all the way down. Because I want the right measure. And that look around like about 14. So let's see if we can kind of move it over an inch. And see if that, oh, excuse me. Let's see if that will give us our dimensions that we need. Straighten that up. Okay. That look around. 13 and that look around. Close to 13. Hey. It's in the middle. Enough for me. Alright. Now what we have to do is we are going to now see where we want it. So I'm just gonna take my time. Just pushing it up, trying to keep it still kind of straight. I want to take my image, kind of eyeball it. And you can do the same thing for the top and the bottom in regards to measurements. And you could just put it actually to where you want. It don't have to be like right in the middle. It could be more to the bottom. You could put something up top. I mean, you can really get creative. Try to straighten it out. Make sure those plastic uh, things are off of there as well. Oh man, I feel like a few of them, y'all. I'm gonna open them up. Yeah, make sure y'all, uh, those are off. Okay. And that's mostly at the bottom. Yeah, my squares. Just really taking my time. And I think I want to keep it right here. And what you can do at this moment, you can go ahead and put your tape on or um, like I have used before, the spray for your um, image won't ship, but I'm just going to take my time um, and I am going to place two 
I don't want this to bleed on the top of my machine. And I need to move this tape. You can also use tape. Okay, y'all. Let's try to do the first set and see. Take your time, pushing your thing down. All right, in 60 seconds. You can see this is kind of straight. That's a good guy to have. Um, the key is, is once this is completed, when we do the other part of the blanket, um, that we make sure we don't over uh, heat the um, the section that we just uh, screen printed. I mean, Lord Jesus, uh, heat pressed. Yeah, we're gonna be doing some screen printing too. I got a screen print machine back here, y'all. Yes, I do. It's a six four and a tall. All right. Let's see. We got ten seconds, y'all. I hope it's as pretty as it look. We may not need to add anything, but you know, hey, you know me. All right, y'all. Take your time bringing it up. Cause you have to remember, you don't want it to shift too much because we have to make sure, ouch. Okay, see, that's why you need your gloves. We'll wear my heat gloves. That was hot. Cause we gotta make sure y'all how we gonna do this? We gotta move it up. And I guess this is what it, uh, uh, this would have benefited from our spraying. I'm just put my, my heat gloves on because that was hot. Um, so, this is where it's gonna get tricky. Now and I'm saying I wish I should have sprayed it. So what I'm doing, trying to do is, okay, hold up. Make sure I got a grip. I am holding this. Let me take this off. And that tells me where the crease is. But this is where I just uh, believe I might have, I might have jacked up, y'all. Okay, pull this out. I'm gonna try to take my time. Trying to take my time. Please be careful, it is hot. The next time, I think I want to tape and spray. And especially for uh, an image this size. And what I'm doing, I'm just trying to get this out the way as much as I can, y'all. Hopefully everything is straight, but you know what? If it ain't, honey, we learn together. We gonna see this together, so. And I'm trying to feel my way to the next edge. And I don't want to pull it down too much because I don't want it shift and so that's that edge but what I think I'm going to do is pull it back out just a little to make sure I get even if it shows that she may be burning a little bit Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go like this. I'm trying to, y'all, it's hot. 
And I think I may have shifted um, the image, but that's okay because we're going to see together. All right, I'm going to get two more new papers only because I don't want that to bleed um, on my machine. Still try to take my time, pushing this up, pushing this down. The part, I mean the craft paper. And honey, we've been ready to pray. That don't look like it's all the way on there. The bottom don't. So it might have shifted a little bit, but we'll see. Next time, definitely. We will definitely um, spray, um, lay it down and just spray um, to make sure that image don't move. And sometimes you can cut and just kind of piece it together and do that. Um, but uh, sometimes I don't like doing that because you can see the lines. Um, but there is a way that you can do it. You can actually cut it and tape it and do all the other kind of stuff. So there is other ways. And you may even have some other ways too um, you can share. Um, but definitely, definitely going to tape, tape it the next time. Because of my head uh, shifted. The, 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 the front part, um, or the first piece, I'm pretty sure was fine. But when we start moving it up. Okay, y'all, for the soul reveal. Okay, still go slow, because you don't want to, whew, now that part look good, but what about the other part? Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's pretty. I see a little line just right there, but that ain't, ah. Uh, are y'all seeing this? Now y'all know, this is the bomb. This is a soul bomb. Now you can see right here, just a little bit like the wipe that might've just came up or whatever, but look y'all, it did it. It did it. Wow. Look at that. Look at that goddess. Look at that goddess. Now you could do so much more. And uh, we're gonna hold this up too. I'm gonna go to a place where maybe we can hold it up and you can actually see all of it. But I mean, if you wanted to put something at the top, you could put somebody's name around it. I mean, it's just so much that you can do. Wow. 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 I am, I am impressed. I hope y'all impressed because the colors is like beautiful. The color is beautiful. So, yeah. Definitely gonna put a uh, name on that. Oh, let me show you. This is why. Remember I told you to make sure all those plastic parts are out? Right here. I don't know if you can see it. If you look right here, I just pulled it out. It was on there and that's what it will do. All right. So you have to be careful. And you know what? I think I want to put a name up there. I can just put a name just at the top. Just at the top. And then I will be back and then we will reveal this, y'all. I'm so excited. All right. See y'all in a minute. Okay, beautiful souls. I am back in. Um, um, I was supposed to actually show you the reveal um, of the blanket that um, I just completed. But you know what? I wanted to add some stuff to the top, the side, the bottom. So I said, well, let me take you um, on this journey with me. So I'm just going to start adding um, some stuff to this blanket. I already printed it out. And hopefully it'll come out straight, y'all. 
All right. Yeah, I said I wanted to add some stuff. I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to um, kind of uh, overheat the piece that we just done. So I'm just kind of gauging, looking, uh, making sure. And also what I'm going to do is on my craft sheets, I'm only going to use um, one at a time. I mean, not one at a time, I'm sorry. Just one because I, because this is a white material, I want to make sure that none of this was going to bleed through. Um, like with my old craft sheets that I have used because sometimes I will use them twice so I hope this come out all right y'all let's see I added a name um I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give this to my daughter uh she don't know it yet but I'm gonna give this to my daughter because she is so wonderful y'all she just loves her mama. She gifts me. She takes care of me. Oh my God. She's just a blessing. She's just a blessing. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and gift her um, with this. Uh, I hope it come out all right. Cause this is beautiful thus far. We'll see. I think I want to, cause I have something going on the side. So I'm thinking Hmm, maybe I should do the side and then do the bottom last. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okay. Come on. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, see that? Queen Sierra, because that's what she is, y'all. Look at that. And purple is her favorite color, too. All right, so I think what I want to do to try to minimize um, the other part being on this blanket, I think I want to sideways. So. And I'm just really gauging. I don't even know. I don't know measuring it, but this will help me. I'm going to do that at the bottom. And then by that way, that'll kind of help me gauge this up. And I'm also try to move it as much as I can off of um, the print that I already printed off of the press just like I said before I want to make sure I do not reheat that image because sometimes it can take this color um, it'll discolor or discoloration okay y'all this might be all right look at look at that y'all isn't that beautiful I mean, it's so much you can do with sublimation and it's so much you can do. Don't limit yourself if you have a smaller press. You know, it is presses, of course, you know, bigger that it'd be so much easier, but don't, don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. If you have to keep on turning and doing what you have to do, like I'm doing, um, just do it. Take your time, do your measurements and, um, and that's really about it. You can do it. You can do it. And then we have the one more side at the bottom. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see how this side came out, y'all. All right. Make sure when you pull your, your paper off, do it as slow as you can. 
because you don't want to shift. Ugh. It not nice. other side I'm just turning it and if you can remember I actually used the bottom of the image to be more or less like my guide for the side another thing I like um, because these lines are in here I can kind of gauge to see if they're crooked slanted or whatever as well Okay, that's the bottom. We're gonna have a little more room on that side, so let's punch this up. Keep that like that. Look good to me, y'all. Let's see. Let's. Almost finished, y'all. After we do the bottom, oop. You see, I wanna take that off a little bit. Remember, you don't wanna burn your image twice if you don't have to. But that is, that is beautiful. So, hey, my suggestion to you, go out there and they have so many stores uh, you can go to and get you a polyester blanket. And this one is really nice. This is really nice. Even if I wanted to embroider something on it, I mean, you can do a whole lot with this. And we got one more image at the bottom. Look at that. Beautiful product. You can put your own personal picture. You know, it's great uh, for gifts. It's great uh, even also to sell, you know? So I may get a few of these. Um, I had this blanket for a while, but I tried to find something similar. And um, once my, um, Website open. Uh oh, uh oh, I see something, y'all. It's just a little bit. Of. And you know what? I think I may. Because one thing I don't want to do is put it back on there and it look double. So I may just have to leave it like that, or I may just go ahead and cut it. And, and try to around. Really don't want to burn this again. But hopefully it'll, it'll come out all right. And if you see what happened, I didn't have the whole image on the um, heat press. And so make sure that you double, checkle, checkle, double, triple, um, check your work. Um, and especially if you are, even if you're gifting, you know, because you want your stuff to be nice. Um, and you don't want to second do your stuff. So, hey, um, if it come out a little crooked, uh, whew, I'm not saying that's okay, but, uh, you know, but trial and, um, era and I probably really can kind of bring up bring it up now um, and it's probably on there so 
I'm gonna go ahead, move it a little early. And yes, it did it. Yep. Right there. Whew. Yes. All right, y'all. We turn and we getting there. Ooh, I got some mess to clean up. Take out that drawer. Oh, I love this press. Don't get me wrong, I love my Hotronics, my Fusion, but just something about this Heat Press Nation Signature Series. I love it, love it, love it. And it gets easier, y'all, because you know, once the image start forming, you can kind of see where you are. And um, you can line up your stuff different. So putting that the bigger image on there first, I think that's uh, the best, way to go. And how I'm gonna do this, both of them is at the edges. Don't wanna reburn that. But I still wanna keep my image on there. I think I'm gonna move this over a little bit. A little over, uh, like that. Uh, let's put it, let's keep it right here. All right, y'all. This is it. This is it, y'all. Before we do our big reveal. Ooh, I'm so excited. Are y'all excited? Look at this, y'all. Man. Ah. Uh, Remember, this is, uh, what did I say? 50 by 60. So, like I said, don't always look at the size and say, no, my press is too small. If you got to chop them up and cut it up in pieces, you see what I did, same thing I did. Um, and even if you don't have um, uh, a large printer, um, like myself, you can still um, get this done and completed. You just have to, it just take more time. That's all. This is beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to hold it up, y'all. Oh, she don't know I'm gifting her, so I can't wait. All right, here we go. Let's take our time. Make sure everything before we start shifting. And that's pretty. Look at that. Worthy, love, capable, and brave. Queen Sierra. All right, well, let's go and just do this reveal, y'all. And as you can see right here, uh, with a sublimation and getting to that line, so that's also something that you need to think about when you're purchasing uh, these blankets, you know, um, even though it's 100% polyester, but will it be great for sublimation, okay? All right, so we get ready to reveal this. I'll see you in a minute. All right, beautiful souls, we are here. Uh, for this reveal, and I'm telling you, I am so satisfied, y'all. Look at this, and I hope y'all can see. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I hope y'all can see. And what I did, I just, and even at the bottom, put this over my shoulder. Girl, I wanna get closer to the fire. Look at that. You see that? Isn't that beautiful, y'all? Man. Loved, what is that? Worthy. Worthy. Loved, capable, and brave. So, listen, y'all. This concludes our uh, tutorial. I hope that this helps someone. I'm telling y'all, y'all can do this. And um, I'm satisfied and I cannot wait to show it y'all. I'm gonna call her, hold on. Sierra! Ma'am. Okay, here she come. Uh, what you doing? I said, what are you doing? Okay. But in this night, y'all. 
Um, could you just come to the steps right there, please? Yes. Uh, cause I'm taping. I just oh, want you to see. Cute. You see that, right? Okay. <laughs> yes. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Queen Sierra. Queen Sierra. Okay. Yay. Okay. Okay, y'all, so this concludes our tutorial. Just want to say thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. Um, your new souls, hey, listen, if you find this content worthy of a subscription, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and until the next time we meet, remember, keep on loving yourself before anybody else. All right, peace.